Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. Wow, I'm really happy you're all here with me today, hanging out in my new room and doing a little crafting with me. Um, I want to say welcome to all my brand new subscribers. I'm very happy that each and every one of you has chosen to be here and watch me and hopefully subscribe to my channel. And then I want hugs and kisses and lots of love to all of you who follow me all the time. I really, really appreciate you. You guys, I know you think I just say that, but I really mean it. You know I do. And you gave me a reason to craft and get up and keep going. So here I am. So today, um, I thought I would share with you what we made in our last video. I would go over how I decorated it. And then I thought we'd do a few fun little projects. So I'm just going to, this is some of the things I want to work with today. So I'm going to set that off to the side. I want to see what you can see now that I moved everything. Sometimes I move this board, not meaning to, and it gets all crooked. And then, you know, you're tilting your head sideways trying to watch the video going, what's wrong with this video? <laughs> so. Anyway, this is how I finished off our little lunch bag video. I made a little folio, pocket folio. I um, put a hole, I punched a little hole and I did a couple of um, things around it to strengthen it because this was that really uh, delicate um, old music paper, vintage music paper. And so to keep it from cracking, I put lace on the edge uh, and same with the back. I just, I didn't want to make a pocket because I was really worried it would split and crack. So I just used some of the paper from the kit. Uh, a little Paris word. That's from um, Sam Poole. And then I put more lace over here. Uh, I covered this with some tulle, uh, the Swiss tulle. And then I cut out the rose. I think I did all of that with you guys. <clears throat> but I can't remember. And so then I also reinforced by using a piece of the paper. I cut it off and kind of made uh, like a washi type paper, faux washi. This is real washi tape. And this is the Tim Holtz washi tape right here. Again, to reinforce the spine. And then I, in the middle of this little lunch bag, I put some pretty little, no, not pretty, but some brown, um, this is deli paper. I put brown deli paper in the middle to write on. I thought it'd be a fun little notebook. And then we have the belly band here. I added lace and then I added a couple. I added a piece of um, the music paper, a little card from one of my scraps, and then um, a postcard that you could write on. So there's ephemera there. And then inside this pocket, I added some other little postcards and things. This one I think is Heather at Ruby and Pearl. And that one, um, the postcards all came from um, Happiness and Crafting. So I used that to put in here so that you could write on that, right? So it's kind of a nice writing little, a little writing notebook, folio notebook. And then um, accordion book. And then a couple of um, ephemera. I don't know where I got them. This is from a little kit that I bought that came out of Japan, you know, where you buy the little like notepads and they have all these different little pieces of ephemera on it. So... Um, I don't even know where I got it, but anyway, I, so that's for this right here. So you can see it's all decorated, really pretty. And then I filled up all the little pockets and I added a little piece of ephemera there. Oh, I added a lady here with, and, and this one is from, um, Jabby Dabby Dudosh and some of her ladies. And again, some more music paper and then a little mini, um, postcard that came from Happiness and Crafting. And then these are the papers. All the papers are, uh, from our collaboration kit uh, Jolene and I did and that's in a jeweled design you can get the digital papers from a jeweled design and it's under the collaboration paper so this was one you know I didn't decorate over here I could I could add a little pocket um, I could do something um, I, I don't know if I have I'm hoping I had pulled some um, little clear pockets to use but I probably put them away and now I don't know where they would be because you know when you get a new studio nothing's where you think it's going to be oh yeah here's some i think what i'm going to do here is i don't really want to cover up that paper so i have some of these every year that they come out with these at target the adhesive square label pockets um <clears throat> yeah i think i'm going to keep them on my desk because i'm going to want to use them periodically uh, and they're just clear and you just um, take them off the little sticky back and i get them at target but i think you can get them at amazon probably and you just put it on and now you have a clear pocket that's good for 
And you could just fill that up with something. So let's see, in all of my, oh, I wanna knock my soda over. In all of my little ephemera bits here, here's one, let's see if this will fit. Yeah, just stick this one, it says friends, and it's good for writing on. So I'm just gonna pop that into there. I mean, it goes in there, but you know it's tight. I should have stuck a something in there to, um, you know. So if I got anything else that would look cool, just propped in there. I'm looking through all of my little ephemera boxes that sit on my desk here. And this one's cute. What's this? Just kind of a little... I don't know what that was from. Something I made. Anyway. Cute. I can just put that in there. Oh, I made these little, like these little notebook thingies. That's right. They could be with paper clips or whatever you want. So anyway, those are just cute in there. Or actually, I like this. Maybe I'll put this one in there. Nope, this one has the better color scheme. Alrighty. I don't even know where I got that. Oh, that's from a, a Jewel Design. These are out of a Jewel Designs, um, one of her kits, and her little floral kits. Oh, these are hers too. So let's see, what a, what color flowers did I use? I kind of used a light peachy. I don't know if I have any peach colored flowers in here. Hmm. Does that fit? No, <laughs> too big. Might fit somewhere else in here though. It's really pretty. Okay, you know what? I probably will put it in there because I'm probably going to give give this away and when I'm on a drawing pretty soon. I'm going to do some drawings, some giveaways because I didn't do a 20, uh, 2000. Probably start just doing some random giveaways, just pulling names from the day from comments. So if you're making comments on my videos, you never know. And I'm going to say, okay, today I'm pulling comments and this is who won. So, you might want to comment if you want to try to win some goodies. Because I certainly don't need all of these goodies all of the time. So, how are all of you? Is everybody good? Everybody well? I hope you're all safe. Hope everyone's recovering from all of the awful flooding. I know that that's a long haul for some of you. I feel so bad. Hopefully, it's none of our viewers. Not that I want anyone to go through that, but, you know... Our prayers are with everybody. Gosh, that's awful. I have lots of friends in Florida. Lots of you. Lots of my girlfriends live in Florida there. Different parts of Florida, but, you know. I think Jennifer Trace of Sparkle and Dorina Ulala Vintage Treasures and, um, um, Tammy, no, I think you're in Georgia. But I know there's a bunch of you. I know there are a bunch. Isn't that cute? Really, really sweet. And if you wanted to decorate it up a little bit, we could add some words. Let me see if I got any words handy dandy here. Whoops. Yes, I have handy dandy words. There's one right there. Let me just get this. Oh, and this one's a sticker too. Yay, I don't even have to um, glue it. We'll just give the edges a little inky dinky. Wow, what are you guys up to? Um, I'm doing this on the weekend, so hopefully you guys you should see this Monday. Hopefully you had a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Mine's okay. Nothing exciting. Um, let me just put this on here. Oh, I missed a little bit. We'll just put that right there. Ta-da! And maybe we'll... We're doing a little crafting on the fly, right? <laughs> it's not what I planned, but you never know. I told you lately, that's what it's been like. Um, probably because I'm tired. I was telling my, my good buddy, my sissy Gail, that I am just so tired and exhausted and... Um, I just lost my mojo. I'm really struggling to be creative or to feel creative or even want to be creative. And let alone, um, I know a lot of people are starting their Christmas um, 
And I just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to jump into Christmas yet. I'm, I'm, uh, I love it. And normally I'm doing it in August, honestly. Uh, but this year, of course, you know, everything we've been through, I just lost my, lost my mojo, my drive. So just don't really feel a whole lot like, um, the holidays. I don't know. Uh, but I will say this now, I mean, red and green traditional Christmas. I do. I do. I have some exciting news. So if you're seeing this on Monday, watch for Wednesday's video, because if everything goes as planned, uh, Jolene and I are going to be filming, uh, on Tuesday for Wednesday, uh, together, we're going to film a project and it'll probably have more than one part. So we'll probably do a series together. Um, and uh, it is going to be pre-holiday. So for me, it'll be something probably pink, shabby, vintage, um, elegant kind of thing. And then for Jolene, it'll be traditional red and green. So you're going to get all the Christmas all at once, a little early. It's just a pre, pre thing. We're not going to necessarily keep all of our videos in Christmas, but uh, she's got a brand new kit out. And then she's also got a kit out that I adore that came out last year. That was, I did not get time to work with it last year. Something happened. And I remember, I think I got really sick. And so, and then they got COVID. So I didn't get a chance to work with this kit that I want to work with. It is a shabby uh, winter kit. It's Mine won't be as Christmassy, but it will be definitely pink shabby winter. And Jolene will be a... Uh, uh, red and green more Christmassy. So, but we're making the same base project. You're just gonna see it decorated two different ways with two different styles, two different eras of kits. So it'll be very fun. It's something she hasn't made before and I will be teaching her how to make it. So not that I'm any expert at it, but you know, <laughs> I'm gonna try <laughs> anyway. So let me just add this to, I think I'll add this to the back here. There we go. A little bit more ephemera for this. I think that's fun. And now it's all decorated up. I'm real happy with it, I think. Um, I just love working with these papers. I know uh, some of you went and got it and some of you didn't, but if you haven't, it's a very fun paper to work with. Look what you can do with that, with that and just a, a, a lunch bag and a, and a piece of, um, could be any kind of paper, but in, in this case, it was music paper for me. So nice and easy. So that's anyway, what we, what, what I ended up with. So I'm gonna put that somewhere on my desk. I'll put it behind me. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm loving my new room because I, my new rooms, because I, Jolene and I, in addition to doing some videos together, we're also putting together a photo shoot that we're going to be doing for new digitals. And, um, so that she can use them in the digital pieces. We're going to be doing some photographs of some things I have. And so, vintage and stuff like that, digitals. So we're getting, gonna be doing a big photo shoot. So I pulled, all the stuff I pulled, I put in the sewing room that were fabrics and all kinds of ephemera and embellishments. And then in here, I pulled all this stuff for the kits for the videos. So it's really nice because I have cut, you know, big old cutting counters in both rooms and they each have different projects on them. So we can just go from room to room and work. Awesome. I've been waiting a long time for this type of thing. And so I'm so excited. So what I want to make, um, which I started to do the other day and, and we ended up with, um, we ended up with this one. Uh, I started to make this other thing and never got to it. So what I want to make is, um, piece of ephemera for my, um, flip-flop journal and I think what I want to do is I want to make it as kind of a uh, pocket let's see do I want I don't think I want to tip it in or anything I don't or or even fold it in I don't think I want to do I want to no I don't think I'm going to do that I think it's just going to be something that you you paper clip in so I'm going to this is a coffee dyed envelope that I got from Emily at vintage polka dot shop she hasn't she hasn't had any in a while I don't know if she will be doing any. I need to ask her because I need some more, but um, I want some more coffee dyed envelopes or I'll just maybe just do a batch of my own. We still have nice weather here. We haven't got to winter yet. So let me just close that up. And 
of course I want it to be, um, I'm thinking here, which side do I want to decorate and which side do I want to leave plain on the back? And I'm going to think I'm going to decorate this side and then leave this side pretty for writing. But what I want to do is I want to um, open it, but I want to... I want it to look like something that came in the mail, maybe. Oh, come on. Oh, man, that's really some tough paper. That's some good paper, good quality, good quality envelope. Plus, I think, you know, when you coffee dye things, oh, let me get my ink. When you coffee dye, uh, you get, you know, more, um, it adds some heft or something, toughness to the paper. I want the edges to be a little more um, pronounced, I guess is the word. So we're gonna decorate this. And I did check to make sure it will fit inside. Um, I think I, I don't know where, but it's gonna fit in there. Okay. So let's see. I forgot to look at what time I started. Ugh, guys, I'm always so excited to sit down and play. <laughs> 15 minutes, so, um, I don't know, around 3.30, maybe I'll check it again, see where we're at. All right, so this is a lovely kit from French, um, this is called French Delicate, uh, by Souvenir de la France, Souvenir de la France, I don't even know if I said that right, I didn't use an accent, so... <laughs> Um, let's see. I don't think I need that. I may use these. So I'm going to leave those there. That's our inspiration. I love these papers. So I think I did some of them. Yeah, I did. Ooh, she's pretty. I want to put an image on the front. Hmm. Maybe her. Ooh, she's really pretty. She would be pretty on there. Okay, now let me see if I if I did that in, if I have that picture in. I do. On, sorry, guys, I have the hiccups. On the linen. Oh, man, that's pretty, too. This is the most gorgeous paper. I'm going to put the ones that are just plain old white. This is 32 pound copy paper. And then I did the linen. Gosh, I want to use everything I see on here. I love this. But then if I put her on there, it would cover that up. Or I could just use her. Oh, here she is again with the pink. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh, ooh, I like that one too. This is the greatest paper. Wow, I love this kit. I, I, I bought it because I loved it and then I haven't had a chance to look at it since I printed it a while back. So let me... So lets me use her, but not in such a big form. I want to use something a little more um, size appropriate. There we go. I had to get that cleared off. If I cover the whole thing with that, then I can just do a little bit. All right, well, let me... You know what? I'm going to rip on top of these papers because, yeah, it's going to give me a little more traction than I get if I do it on that slippery board. Uh, so anyway, I'm very excited about Jolene and I. Um, oops. Filming together. Now, we've never done this. I've never done it. Uh, I don't know how it's going to go. It could be a complete disaster. <laughs> If it is, you'll never see the light of day, and I'll come on with another video and say, um, it didn't work. <laughs> so, 
but she will be also airing it on her channel as well as on mine. Um, and uh, so you'll be able to see it in a couple places and on our Facebook group. Uh, I've got to have talked to her about getting that Facebook group ready to go. So I got to get that. We need to do a little work on the Facebook group so it's geared for both of us. So I can start posting over there and then um, you guys can... I can put messages and stuff to you guys when, you know, things are, I want to kind of do it like this. And I want to put something else up here. So let's, cute. And then what we'll do is we'll make something to go inside of it too. So we can we can definitely you know make some more goodies um, that go in there. Let me ink inky dinky. I want to do a little aging here. I am enjoying my room. I know you guys have been asking me and asking me about, you know, showing my room, showing you my room, doing a walkthrough. And I don't know, you guys. I I feel like some of you have some really big expectations because my room doesn't look like my work. It's, it's a very utility room. It's not pretty. It's not French style. It's not shabby. It's just workroom. You know, it just, I don't, it's not... Um, beautiful and it's not elegant and it doesn't have any fancy decorations it's just a room you know that I put stuff in and it's organized like for me but it's not like organized in a way that is um, how I don't know how to put it I mean like I don't have everything all labeled perfectly and you know I mean I I am organizing for, for the way I think and the way I work, but it's not like labeled and perfect and, you know, it's just not any of those things. So I'm afraid some of you are going to be really, really, really disappointed. And so I'm not sure I want to, you know, show it off. I, it's just a workroom. It's just where I work, you know, and um, I love it. I'm really happy with it. But it's it's not like, oh, everything's all perfect and pretty little containers and pretty boxes. And it's none of those things. <laughs> it's just where I work. And I work, you know. This is my, what I do. So, you know, um, how I make my living and how my daughter and I are going to make a living together. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just that. So I'm a little worried about expectations, you know, and that you guys are going to be super disappointed. Go, well, that's nothing special. You're right. It is. It's just my room. You know what I mean? I just, um, I just, it's not going to be anything fancy. And so I'm really worried about like disappointing you guys. <laughs> so I don't know. I am kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to, if I want to do, you know, because everybody's like, oh, I can't wait to see it. It's probably fabulous. No, it's just a room. It's nothing. It's just my room. It's just where I'm working. It's not anything super fabulous, you know. So I don't want you to be disappointed, I guess, is the reason I'm, like, hesitating to, to, sh to show you guys, you know. Someone's like, oh, you got to show it off. Eh, you know. Now, my sewing room was perfect before. It was beautiful. I loved it. And, you know, I've taken that all apart, so it's not in here now. And... It isn't done. It's in shambles in, in the other room, you know, the other in the other room. It's not even all in there. Most of it's down in the garage because my husband is now working on, I had to spend the last two days um, prepping for them to do the library, the hall, and the bathroom. So that is this week's project for them. And um, uh, we'll be working, we'll be doing our videos early in the morning and then they'll be working in the afternoon. And we'll be doing the filming, the photo, the photo sessions while they're working on the rooms because it's noisy, you know, so we can't really film them. But uh, I don't have those rooms together yet either. And, you know, I may show this off if I get to 
you know, getting it where I want it. Because like right now, I, I don't necessarily like the way it looks. So I'm like, eh, I don't know. It's fine. I mean, it's fine. Everything's put away. Well, not everything, but most things are put away. Um, I spent part of yesterday morning um, organizing and categorizing, sizing, color uh, my envelopes, my mailing envelopes that I get, the junk mail envelopes, you know, so I could find them to use for projects. And... Um, so, and I threw away, oh, well, they went into a paper garbage bag that is getting recycled with everything in it uh, to be recycled. So, uh, but I'm recycling a whole lot of stuff. So, um, that I am doing with all the envelopes that I've been collecting forever um, and I don't need, I'm not going to be using. So, I figured I would just go ahead and... Um, get those done yesterday that took a good part of the morning and then the afternoon I spent you know getting um everything together for the projects we're going to be doing so yeah see so I think I like that so I'm not sure you know <laughs> about showing it. I, I just don't want you guys to be disappointed when you see it because it's gonna not going to be anything great. It's just going to be a workroom. I know there's a lot of really beautiful studios out there, a lot of really beautiful shabby chic studios and a lot of really pretty, you know, or very, very like well organized you know you have like all of your ink is here and all of your and they're all labeled and they're all perfect and they're all lined up that is not me um I'm not messy but I'm not in not in my paper room and sewing yeah I had everything perfect but I just don't have that here and I'm I'm not sure I want to if I want to share <laughs> so we'll see I'm thinking about it. I just haven't got there yet, you know, as to whether I want to do an, anything with it, show it or not. Because <laughs> I've had some comments where, oh, I'm sure it'll be gorgeous and so well organized. And it's like, no, 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 no. I mean, it's organized for me, but it's not like organized like an organizer would do. I actually used to do that when I was a young mom um, to make extra money. I would go in and organize people's kitchens and cupboards, and and I got paid to do that um, when we didn't have any money, and it really helped us out um, because I had neighbors who said, oh, my gosh, your kitchen's so pretty. It's so organized. Everything's labeled. It's perfect, you know. Well, it had to be because I had the tiniest kitchen ever. Um and so they said, oh, will you come do it for me? I'll pay you. And it's like, okay. So, you know, I, I earned some money doing that. But uh, that's not the case with this room. Some things are labeled. I do want to, to do more labeling than I have done. But I also ran out of label maker tape. I got to, I don't know if they still make my tape. So I have to get online and see if I can find it. So I could label some things. It would it, it would make my life easier to have some of it labeled, honestly. So what do we think of this, you guys? I think it's cute. I feel like it's gonna need like a little fabric or in a little word. I feel like I should have put some paper under this side. I don't think I can. Oh, maybe I could. No, maybe not. Let's see. No. I'm gonna need I'm now gonna need glue there because I just lifted that all up. I feel like I should have um like let me see. I want things to look a little bit old and, and scruffy. I don't want it to be so perfect, you know. that's the latest on the studio organization. I mean, I am still organizing things. I have a couple more bags to go through. I'm getting rid of paring down my Amazon packaging to six of each kind of thing that each kind of package that I think I might want to use for 
uh, covers because I just don't feel like I need quite so many. I'm going to be an old lady before I can ever use half the stuff. So, I mean, a really old lady. I'm going to have to live to be like 400 to use everything. That's what Gail says. She goes, I'm going to have to be 425 to use every. I'm going to be 425 years old to use it all. I know what you mean, sweetie. I know. <laughs> I get it. There, that looks a little better. Not quite so fashionably perfect. I'm just kind of roughing things up a little bit. Oh, that looks nice and old and shabby, doesn't it? Okay, now what else do we want on there? Mm, we're probably going to want a little bit of lace or something. Or a word or... There's some embossing paper here. Some kind of like flocked kind of paper there. I forget what you call that. My brain is not letting me remember today. They're not so perfect, huh? That looks good, right? I like the back. Now let's see, what else do I want? Um, I feel like I want a word. I want a word. I want one of Heather's words here. Oh, these are Sam Pools, not Heather. I want Miss Sam Pools words. I feel like I need a good size something or other there. might be the wrong color we'll see it may blend too much I might have to get something else a different one what are you guys working on gosh is it fall where you guys are uh, we're finally getting fall weather it does get up to 80 83 during the day but only for about an hour so it's very cool in the morning it stays 69 70 at the highest at noon and then noon one o'clock then it will get up to maybe 80 for an hour and then it's right back down and it's back into the 60s again early evening so and it's cool and breezy and ugh, yummy fall right now i like it but i feel like it's not got enough dimension or I feel like it needs something else. Mm, let me try this. I love these uh, snippets that she did. These are my favorite thing in the whole world. Honestly, I absolutely, absolutely adore these. I was always a huge Tracy, Tracy Fox label person until I saw these in French. And the French words are just, oh, because you know it's my thing, my thing. Maybe. I need some more ink, though. Sorry, I'm concentrating. I'm very excited, though, to be in my studio. I'm loving every minute of it. Every second I get to spend in here, I am super happy. I haven't been, to be, I haven't been able to be in here as much as I would like because, like I said, I had to pack up the library and... Um, oops, I just ripped that. I didn't mean to, but you know what? That's fine. Um, I had to pack that up and then and organize and pare down the guest room so that the stuff from the library, we couldn't get in, because there's no more room in the garage right now, uh, into the guest room. So that's pared down as well. And some of that's back in the sewing room so we'll see how that goes oh you know what this needs I know what it needs it needs this she's cloth 
I could rip it, but I think I would end up with not a whole lot left when I was done. This stuff is so wide open weave that it just kind of disintegrates. I actually want to do a little fabric tack there. Then we can put, I'm going to have to re, because that stuff dries like crazy real quick, you know. I just want a little bit sticking out there. Would have liked a little more than that. Maybe I could get some under this one. <laughs> Sorry about the sniffles. Allergies. Oh, crazy. With the change in weather, we are getting allergy season early here. Fall allergies. My husband and I have always, every year, right around October, we go through the worst allergy season ever. If we're gonna get sick, this is usually when we do it. So hopefully not this year. Now I put that in the wrong place completely. I just don't seem to have it together here today. Ugh. Okay, I'm having no luck. Maybe like this, what do we think? Well, that's pretty good. I don't know. Well. Like this. <laughs> I like the pink. I just can't decide where it should go. Yeah, maybe there. Okay, let's try this again. Like I said, I'm having trouble with my mojo. I'm doing the best I can with it, but it just seems to be not all here. Probably because I'm still pretty tired, you know, still not feeling great, still getting used to my meds, etc., etc. Trying to figure this out. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I don't know. I'm fussing. But that's okay, right? I'm creating on the fly. I don't have anything planned. I just sat down and started creating. I just knew I wanted to use an old envelope. I mean, uh, well, I, don't, I want an old envelope, but I can't find him. I don't know where I put him. I know I have some. Thanks to Heather at Rose Hill Paper. She sent me some, envelope, uh, some envelopes as a thank you. And I can't find them, Heather. I don't know where the heck I put them. I'll find them. I know I will. They're here. I just don't know where they got put. Okay, and I feel like it needs a little something up there. Like it needs a little dangly or something. But I don't know. Like something up here. I feel like there needs to be something there. What could I put there, you guys? Let me think. 
a charm, a flower. Oh, I know. Um, oh, where do I have them, you guys? I don't know where things are. I want to use like a, a snippet or something pretty. Um, I One thing I did on my closet door is I took down all those, the mirror and all those pictures and I put up hooks all over the door and I have all my bits hanging up there. All kinds of goodies. And so everything is hanging up there and um, I kind of like this, maybe. Let me see what I have. I want to see what I have that would be pretty on there. What I want is something more um, vintage looking. These are very white. This isn't bad. I don't know, let me see. Um, Like I could put like a little leaf across there. Let me see. That's kind of pretty. Um, I feel like that's too, I'm looking right in front of me at my, all the drawers in front of me to see what I have. Hmm. Oh, I have snippet boxes too, huh, guys? Where did I put my snippet boxes? Did I put them? Yes, they're right here. Oh, you guys, I got a, um, a brand new um, set of rubber stamps from Taylor Made Journals, Morna. I missed these first time around. They are the Perfume de Paris, Par Parfume de Paris, Boulangerie. And um, I missed these the first time they came out. And so um, she brought them out again. So I did order them. I'll have to stamp them so you guys can see, but this is, what they look like stamped in gold. Aren't they stunning? Oh, I love it. So, um, she just came out with those. You have to watch her, um, on Facebook and stuff because and she's also on Instagram because she'll put out what she's going to be making, you know? Yeah, that's not bad. I feel like it needs something else, but I don't know what, I don't know what darlings. I don't know. Mm. like a jack-in-the-box jumping up and down here let me see what do we got what can you guys see are you seeing this oh gosh you guys I just realized I might have been working off camera I hope not ah it's gonna take me a while to get used to this forgive me if I did I'm so sorry hopefully I did not work off camera um got a whole new thing I was thinking maybe I could put like a little that's a little too much maybe <clears throat> What else have I got? I'm looking at my... I don't know. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I haven't let you. I'm just checking my box to see if there's anything that is a bit more um, antique looking or old. Um... I think I have this one. That one might be better. Why don't we try that one? Let's see if that works. They're right here on my desk. I just, the way this chair is, I can't really reach without knocking myself out of the chair. So like if I put this up there, it's, it's um, a piece of um, like crocheted trim. 
Or maybe I just like that with nothing under it. I like that on there. I, I think maybe I'll just put that on there. I don't know. That seems to be what I'm gravitating towards. Um, the only other thing I have, I wanted a little sparkle. So oh, I don't know if you guys. Oh, let me see how much time I have left. 45 minutes. Okay. I do get to finish this then. I do like this pretty rose. I could cut that out and put that on there. That is really pretty. Alrighty, let me see what it looks like if I cut it. Which I hate to do, but I'm gonna. Let's see, how much of that do I want on there? I don't think I need the upper one. I have no idea where I got this. Well, that's pretty. Maybe I could put that on there. I think that's pretty. Totally different from where I was going with that. Well, I don't have to have that on there, you know. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. Yeah, I was looking for something like this is what I was looking for. It was something like this. Maybe cut that off and just put that on there. Hmm. I'm gonna hold it up to the light here. thinking if that wasn't on there and I just had that on there. Or I put something like that on there. Let's see, is that the right side? There's the right side. It's going the wrong way. Or have that on there. Oh, you guys, I like them both. That's tough when you like both. Mm, I could just see what else I have in my little. Let me look. I'll pull that down where I can kind of see. Oh, I have something small. I have something like that I could use. That's a little more to size than this great big one. I don't like the golden color of that. I want it to be more brown. me. I'm thinking. Let's see. So what else have we been up to? Mainly just working on the house as usual. Nothing. Well, we'll be done soon. We're getting there. We are getting there. Finally. I feel like with packing up the library and the guys starting on it this week that we are getting there. Hopefully when you see this Monday, it's because we're at the end of it. Oh, I don't like that color. I like the flower, but I don't like the one underneath it. Not for that. I mean, I like it, just not not for that that particular. Hmm. 
no, nope. I don't know, you guys. Well, you know how much I just love it when I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I actually think that's going to be the one. I think after all that, it's going to be one of these two, I guess. I, I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because this one, I mean, I can definitely ink it up and make it look a little darker. Not quite so bright and shiny. Yeah, see, I can make that a little bit. It made that a bit darker. Nope, I want it in this corner. I don't know what the deal is, but it's got to be in that corner. So, all right, I, I kind of give up on that for right now. Um, I really don't know. I'm going to clean this mess up because it's about time to stop today. I have other goodies to do. I have to prep for some stuff. So, um... I think I am gonna, I'm gonna use this one. I'm just gonna cut out a little bit more of the flower so it's a little more distinct. Get rid of some of the netting there. That's really pretty. I think it'd be pretty on there. I think it adds a little something, something up there. And then, you know, you can make a, a, a journaling card to go inside, which I'll probably do. Um, off camera because the next project is going to be Jolene and I the next video so we're gonna do our video together it should be fun we, we have a good time when we craft together hopefully we don't get snippy with each other we are mother and daughter and <laughs> sometimes mm, we have a different point of view or we see things differently so and we did and we definitely definitely craft very very differently um well, I've got a lot of years, and she's young at it, and she has a different point of view than I do. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. So I love that. I think if I added some pearls or something else to it, some sparklies or something pretty with that, that'd be really nice. Um, I feel like it needs something else. I feel like it needs uh, bling or pearls or something. So let me think here. Oh, I don't know what it is. Everything seems so much further away. I don't I don't know why. Um, I, I feel like I need a higher chair than I have. And the higher one just does not want it to, uh, to, to scoot across this floor at all. It really doesn't. It's, it's broken. So it's like, oh no. I feel like I'm struggling a bit, guys. But uh, it'll be all right. You know, it's just getting used to my new studio. I know it. It won't take long. I just need to spend more time in here. And that's the thing. I haven't had really the time to spend in here that I would like. Uh, and that, I think that's a little bit frustrating for me because I really want to spend time in here. I should be able to be in here, but I've had to have other priorities and I know it. And, you know, so we're getting very close to being done with this whole, because I don't have anything to do with the master. I do have to pack up the master bedroom, but there's not that much, you know, some jewelry and, you know, a few things, but um, until we get to the master closet. Now that's a whole nother thing. Um, that my husband and I have to empty the bottom, whole bottom half of it so that we can, um, you know, put the flooring in. So, well, there you have it. Isn't that pretty? I think it's a pretty envelope. It's definitely something you can, you know, you make a nice long tag to put inside of it. Um, it's really pretty. I think it goes well with this journal. So like if I wanted to put it in one of the signatures, let's say I really liked it in this signature. Let me see. Yeah, this one actually has a uh, pocket right here that would fit it beautifully. So it definitely could go right here. Um, it could go in the pocket. Yeah, look at that. It fits right in there, perfect, and closes. 
Look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That looks really... Now I'll have to decorate that. Now I'm going to need some pretties there. So maybe that piece I didn't use there, I could add some pretty lace and some pearls and whatever. And then I could put something up there in that. And that goes beautifully in our in our journals. So look at that. that and that looks really nice with this too. So, well, there you have it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little video. Found something new to make. And I hope you'll come along and have a play with me again. Jolene and I watch for us. So we'll be showing off some new kits. And, but mainly we're just going to be creating. Um, and um, those kits will be available in our shop if you decide you want to craft along with us. I think that would be a whole lot of fun is if you guys, I was trying to leave that open and show it off, but that ain't gonna happen. So <laughs> anyway, let me see if I can, how much time do I have? Got five minutes. Ooh, okay, let me see if I can show you the kit I'll be working with. Um, I don't have Jolene's kit that she's going to work with printed because I still haven't straightened out my my um, printer ink issue with HP. HP sent me ink and it was all, all of it was, um, did not work. None of the, the cartridges would work. They're, they were all defective. Excuse me. So I called and then they sent me some more, but they only sent me one color. It wasn't enough. Oh my guys, it's just been a nightmare. Anyway, this is the kit I'm going to be working with. Uh, Jolene has the red and green, a different, a totally different one, but isn't this gorgeous? I'm just, I'm not going to do the whole kit, but I'll show you some of it. Isn't that beautiful? Very shabby. Um, it's winter beautiful i won't be using every image i probably won't use the santa image but i'll use the other images i might put sand in there i don't know then this is going to be on the cover i don't know can you guys see this paper it is yummy it's sparkly it's a sparkle glitter it's a gl printable glitter paper look at oh now i know you saw that i know you saw that a little bit see that look at that yeah isn't she beautiful so she's going to be my cover. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be working with these papers and what we're doing. I bet you get guess what we're making. Um, and it's one that I have not showed you. Well, I'll tell you. I'm going to teach her to make a flip-flop journal. So we're going to be making the flip-flop journal. And it's going to mine's going to be with this kit and hers will be red and green Christmas. So you get a variety. You'll see both of them. Uh, you'll see me predominantly on camera, but she'll be showing, uh, and it, well, you won't see us visually. You're just going to see our hands as usual. You know, nothing new like that. But anyway, that's the kid I'm going to be working with. Are you excited? I'm excited. I can't wait. So I will see you guys on Wednesday, hopefully with fun, fun videos and lots of laughter and goofing around and just lots of fun. So don't miss that, you guys. Be sure you watch it. So anyway, thanks for coming along and, and having a little play with me today. And let me chit chat your ears off. And I am going to see you all very soon. I love you guys. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.